hello you guys welcome back to my channel so i am back again with another pick a card reading this pick a card reading will be how does your person currently feel about you right now so i have three piles to choose from the first pile will be the agate get back into balance second pile will be this black tourmaline protect your energy and then the third pile will be the cell unite clear the clutter so use your intuition the best that you can and i'll see you at your reading Hello, Power One. So if you chose the gate, get back into balance. This will be how your person currently feels about you. Pause one person feeling. We got the King of Cups. The first card <clears throat> of cards, so. so King of Cups. This person wants to take care of you. Like this person wants to like feed you food. This person wants to cook for you, cook dinner for you. If they've already cooked dinner for you, they love cooking dinner for you. Yeah, they want to take you out to dinner, like especially like dinner, like a nice place, a nice restaurant, um, somewhere where you guys can be alone, somewhere you guys can get to know each other, somewhere where you guys can just have a, like a pleasant evening, a relaxed evening. Like this person just wants to be relaxed. I feel like maybe they've been stressed out lately. Or they just haven't been getting enough time to be relaxed with you and enjoy like a genuine date with you or just it doesn't even i feel like they they do want to like i'm getting that they do want to how they feel they definitely want it to be a date like a location it's like they want to just like i don't know it's like they're they could be bored with their everyday life so they want to like take you out to eat take you out to dinner <laughs> i don't know why i'm thinking of that tiktok but yeah it's like they just want to like cater to you basically like he's holding like a drink and she's like obviously on her knees so i feel like this person definitely i don't know it's like something about your energy where they feel like they just want to like love you yeah they say the king of cups so they definitely want to love you they definitely want to show you love um make you feel like you're loved um they want to give you everything that you desire everything that you want this person just wants to make you happy emotionally like they want to like this person definitely wants to get to know you to figure out what are those things. I feel like this is somebody that you're just now getting to know or somebody that you love and they love you back. I am getting like a like a genuinely a genuine connection from this pal. So I feel like sometimes they it's like they want to feed you so much to the point where it's like you can't even finish your food. So I don't know if this person wants to do like a big a big lunch with you or a big dinner or like they just want to cook with you or share i feel like this person wants to cook for you though but um like cook your favorite meal this person wants to know what your favorite meal is so they can prepare for you like this person feels like you're very special like a unique flower because i'm seeing like they're in a garden with like purple and like peach peach reddish looking flowers in the back so this person could feel like and then there's like rose petals on the floor so this person could have wanted it to they thought about you on valentine's day whether they could be with you or not or whether you it's just they thought about you on valentine's day um they thought about i don't know they thought about you on valentine's day so i don't know if this person spent valentine's day alone and so did you or i don't know why they were thinking about you on valentine's day but i'm getting that a lot like they either they wanted to be with you really badly or just you ran across their mind on valentine's day whether they were with whether they were with somebody else or alone you just ran across their minds and very vividly like very very vividly um this person probably is trying to figure out why you came across their mind during valentine's day like i think they know that they're catching feelings for you they're trying to like figure out yeah i think they didn't expect 
some of you guys they missed you on valentine's day they really wanted to be the person might be a little bit scared to show their emotions towards you i don't know is it you could be like a bad girl or like you have commitment issues even if you don't think you have commitment issues i just saw 444 so you could be seeing 444 in you guys' text messages or like a license plate or like the time clock or the oven clock somewhere i don't know 444 or any any um or 222 for this pal but um like even number synchronicities basically but i am getting that this person is kind of scared to show you their emotions for you how how much emotion they do have for you but this person wants to like smother you with smother you with love but they feel like you will run away from it i feel like maybe you've done this in the past yeah for some of you guys you've done this in the past because it looks like she's like she's not even comfortable around him i mean i won't say that because because i'm looking at it's like why she, why isn't she in the chair so it's kind of giving me the this energy this vibe of like she wants to be able to take off whenever she pleases that type of energy because why isn't she sitting at the table with him she's like kind of on the floor and it looks like i don't know it's like this person may feel like you're going through a lot like they i just saw five 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 so you could be seeing that number a lot as well like but yeah yeah you could be going through challenges and they because i just saw five 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 or, or this this relationship is a bit challenging for this king of cups because they don't know what the hell is going on with you most of the time like you're just so like i just heard inadequate so i don't know if they feel like you're inadequate you're inadequate for them like you could they could feel like they're out of your league because of certain situations that you put yourself in this person could be high status i'm not really sure it's just giving me yet because he is sitting above her so this person could feel like i don't know it's like they i don't know if they told their friends about you and their friends were telling them that you're too good for her or something like that she's just gonna break your heart or she just wants you to like I, you, she just wants you for what you can give her it's just something that her their friends have told them to like kind of like guard their heart like they told their friends king of cups to guard their heart from you um she is dressed on black so i don't know if you're going through something really dark right now or like a dark transformation and it's like really like because he does have his hand on her head so i don't know if this person's just trying to soothe you from everything but you won't let them I don't know it's like this person is trying to protect themselves but at the same time it's like they really they thought about you on valentine's day or they just thought about what it would be like to be in a relationship with you power one so i'm just getting like a lot of messages from this king of cups because this person it's like a father energy but it's like also like but it's like they feel like that's toxic because they're not your father they don't want you to latch on to them just for that reason i feel like they actually want to be like or loved. They, they want it to be genuine they don't want you to come and go as you please or just come to them when you're having problems and when you're bored this person wants you to actually this person actually wants to spend time with you Pauline. this is how they feel then we got this seven of cups let me cover her up a little So we have the seven of cups and it's also like i'm just seeing the floor it just looks very like don't mind my nails they're coming off <laughs> you guys know i'm like a tomboy at heart but yeah so on the floor it's like giving me like they want to do something really romantic feed you maybe have alcohol beverages or go out to dinner and have like you know a nice romantic time with you but i feel like they just think that you're inadequate at some type or yeah they feel like not even inadequate just it would be like taboo or it's just maybe you're not their typical type or like physically it wouldn't look you know i don't want to i'm trying to find the words it's like it's not that you're i mean it could because inadequate is kind of like you can't y'all you guys can't be together like it's just too different maybe yeah maybe you guys are like totally different in physical appearance or just financial status or it could be anything i know that it's different though because he's sitting above her so you guys are different in some type of way and i don't know what it is this person has more of whatever it is maybe it's like emotion i don't know it's like maybe this person knows how to control their emotions a little bit better and you're like more in the seven of cups energy 
where this person has to come in and like kind of save you from yourself or just like maybe this person grounds you i'm not really sure but it is a lot of water here so they do have a lot of emotions but they i think they're a little bit confused on what those emotions are but they know that they feel something for you because they definitely could have been thinking about you on valentine's day i am getting that strongly if you guys didn't spend it together they definitely wanted to spend it with somebody and you came across their mind you were the main person that they would spend valentine's day so i don't know if this is somebody you're just getting to know i am getting for a majority of you guys this is somebody new that you're talking to or you guys just don't know each other that well yet but you guys have been talking for a couple months where you guys really really like each other um uh, but the seven of cups i am feeling like they are a bit confused about like where you stand and where they stand in a relationship and what this relationship is because most of the time they feel like they are kind of like giving you guidance or like being generous towards you or giving to you like i feel like this person gives a lot to you they don't mind giving to you but i feel like they're just scared that you'll break their heart or you'll run off with whatever they give you and not really like you won't show empathy towards them once they give you whatever it is that you want from them so i don't know what it is that you're craving from them but you definitely are craving something from them and they've craved they're definitely craving something back from you though but i feel like this person i won't say they're getting aggravated with how you act towards them but it's like you act a little bit standoffish or it's like you just <laughs> there's a lot of difficulty here you're like very detached power with how you show your love or something and so in return they kind of just do the same thing you do i'm not sure it's like a battle here and then we've got the the higher front there's really not that much nudity in here but i will put this over it it's like my car stuff <laughs> for my car um but with the higher front here what am i getting how do they feel about you This person, I feel like this person, how they feel is that they crave something from you, definitely from this pile. But with the higher fund, that is two different, like it's like a lot of women here I'm getting. So this person definitely has other options. I'm not going to lie, they're like intimate with, like sexually intimate with. But at the same time, it's like I feel like they just, it's something about you that just I don't want to say brings nostalgia, but it's just, it could be that yeah you you bring back it's like you you do something to make them feel. I feel like this person has been numb for a very very long time and this is something that they don't like to talk about and they don't want to talk about, but it's just something that is fun here. It's something that because seven of cups could also be like fantasy. So I don't know if it's like. You're a water sign, they're a water sign, or you just have them feeling have you have them feeling like a human again, or you have them yeah something about you that makes them want to just give to you. So I don't know if it's your energy or what it is, but you make them it's like something about you is very pure, but also something dark about you to where they're kind of like questioning: Are you like everyone else that they're fucking around with? Are you somebody to take serious? It's like basically like the seven of cups. They they like you got them wondering about this person just wants to break down your layers to see if like the basically how they feel is like you could be the one but it's like i think they're scared to like drop their other options drop their little whoever they've been intimate with but i also feel like they think about you when they're intimate with other people like they not because it's like for some of you guys you don't want you don't see them as much as they want to see you this is how they feel like they would they would like to like see you you know but i feel like i don't know it's like something about this person where they're very numb but when it comes to you like they numb their feelings when it comes to 
sexual interactions if that makes sense like they're numb to sexual experience if that makes sense so it's like they just have sex like when they do have sex um before you and whenever after you it's like it was it was just for fun or just for like i just saw 1444 so you're definitely seeing synchronicities around this person or like just in general but it's like this person feels numb and i feel like once they got into like i don't know if you guys have been sexual but if you guys have been sexual it's like they it's something about when you guys have sex it's feelings into it and they definitely have emotions and i feel like you are making it very uncomfortable for them because maybe they haven't felt this in a long time and i feel like they've definitely been trying to get advice on how to go about this with you um like to their friends like asking their friends like what they should do and how they should move and should they just open up to you right away like this person probably hasn't been in that many relationships i'm not getting from this card but when they are in a relationship they would like their partner to be very very faithful and loyal to them so they're kind of like questioning your loyalty right now but they're still getting to know you like this person wants to definitely get to know you and be there for you if you'll let them be so I like the overall energy i got from them like they're definitely very curious about you with the seven of cups like very very curious and kind of nosy almost it's like a like that crush you want to always know about like but you don't want to like you want to look i don't know it's like they're just like thinking about they think about you a lot and they wonder about you and they i don't know it's like something about you that's very special to them they feel like you're very special it's just something about you. I feel like they're just crushing really hard right now. And when they see you, just you make them feel very happy inside. And I feel like in, in return, they want to like gift you with little things, whether that's just like, you know, dates here and there, food, money, clothes, you know, just they just feel like you, I don't know. They really, really are like, they want to fancy you. They really, really like you, pal one, <laughs> if you didn't know that already. So that's what I have for you. If it did resonate, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next post. Hello, Paula 2. So if you chose the Black Tourmaline, protect your energy. This will be how your person feels about you, currently feels. to this person the devil card i knew something was up for this pile devil card <laughs> not a pinnacles i'm not my nails i just don't feel like doing that. I'm like a time I want to get something cute next though. If I do get my nails done. I want like an actual. Like I want to go get them books. Books somebody do my nails. I want like something really really cute. Because you know it's Pisces season. My birthday is coming up. So I do want to get something. Since I'm always so humble. I don't really. How does Paul's. Three of Wands for how they feel, and then we got the Seven of Cups, Ace of Swords. Okay, <laughs> about two. I really was trying not to make the sexual, so I had to kind of like. I, I did go for to do a reading and then I had to stop the reading and I was going to draw more cards or just use it on a deck because it was just so sexual. But I feel like since the devil wanted to come out in this deck, 
it's just gonna come it just wants to come out anyway so i feel like that for this pal how they feel about you is like strictly like sexual like how they feel is like really really horny i was trying to get like actual feelings but i, I feel like with this pal it's just not really gonna come out not I mean they don't have feelings for you um because i just see the ace of cups it's just they're mainly focused on having sex with you for this pal so i don't know if this is something you want to do and this is why i don't know something for some of you guys you want just sex for some of you guys you want more than just sex so i'll just be careful with your heart protect your energy put boundaries down if you need to put boundaries down because i feel like this person really really wants to get next to you in that way whether you've had sex or you haven't had sex um before it's just this is what's on their mind currently about you pal too like this person could be obsessed with thinking about sex when it comes to you like this is all they think about and this is all they want to think about is sex based um i think they look at a lot of porn and think about you they visualize you definitely oh my gosh some of you guys they've been <sighs> i'm gonna do a sexual reading soon but i think they look at porn strictly to see what they're gonna do to you next <laughs> or for some of you guys if you haven't had sex it's like they look at it strictly to see what they're gonna do to you when you guys link up for the first time which is three of wands it's like they're like i don't know it's like they're manifesting st like a sexual union for this paul like whether they burn candles and think about you know masturbating in their bed they do this or they don't even some of you guys they like candles actually think about you know, like master like this person i think they just like sit in bed and like really really like picture you there in their bed with them like this is how vividly they think about the sexual encounter whether you guys have had sex or not or you've been holding off or you block them or whatever you want you won't see them some of you guys you will you will not see them or some of you guys you just been busy but i feel like first like for this palace like they it's like they sit in their bed and like visualize you very very hard like as if you were actually there like having sex with them like i feel like they missed having sex with you if you guys have broken up if you guys have and you guys are on good terms they still like fantasize very hard and deeply about having sex with you like this next encounter has to be very very good or yeah it has to be like this person I feel like if you guys have had sex, they relive off the last encounter. If that makes sense, until the next time. Um, this person definitely likes your hair. Whether it's long or short, they love your hair. Whether you wear a wig or you wear natural hair, they love your hair when it's down. They just love your hair in general. It's something about your hair they, they really, really love. Um, I don't know if you slept up. For some of you guys, if you slept over their house, they love the way that they're, oh my God, like I said, they, if you slept over in their house and you had your, whether your hair was in a bonnet or not, it's like the scent of your hair is like all over the pillowcases, all over, you know, the sheets, something about your hair or your scent for this pal that they just, I don't think you know how like a crazy obsessive this person is over you. this person is crazy over you i don't know if they <laughs> it's like they act scenarios out around their room or something <laughs> like let me stop for some of you i think that's accurate like they they re they they reenact or they act out what they're gonna do next when they see you because they were too shy it's just something about this person could be hella shy but they have like a really kinky side to them. I think it's just something like really, it's giving me like Kanye, not Kanye vibes, but it's just giving you where like they're like your biggest fan and you don't even know this. Like they play it off so good or they have like, it's just something about this energy that's very weird. So that's probably why you picked protective energy because it's just giving me like your Kim and their Kanye or something. <laughs> 
and this probably person probably just wants to give you like the world they are gonna give you that's just something weird about this paul where they're doing like weird things either doing weird things to get your attention or this they're, they're some of you guys they read we reread your messages so if you're you block them or you just guys aren't just talking or whenever even if you didn't block them if they just miss you they look through old text messages old conversations over and over again you could have even made them mad and when they get mad they masturbate to the argument like this person is <laughs> they probably like just think of like things they could have said better during the argument but then they start to get horny with the double card and like they <sighs> just something something about this person that's just a little off so I would just say protect your energy, yeah, but be careful around this person. Like, be careful this person doesn't, oh my gosh, be careful this person if you see them you know, slip something in your drink, because she's definitely knocked the fuck out. And he's like doing something to her hair, kind of like trying to keep something of hers to himself. Like, definitely cutting her hair to like keep it so like when she leaves, he can like masturbate to it. Like, this item of hers, like this just giving me like, that one sexual orientation where they're like they have they get horn they get horny off of like an item or something that's not sexual sexual based and it could be like an item of yours so i don't know if they stole your panties or <laughs> you left something at their house or just their tech they could be going through a text message just masturbating like or they could just be like heavily in their third eye masturbating about you or just going strictly to porn visualizing like different positions to put you in next um yeah for this pile they're definitely doing some type of sex magic on you they could know that they're doing this or they could not know that they're doing this but either way this person is doing sex magic definitely in this pile so you might want to get you a black tourmaline if you have like for some of you guys this is how you know i think when somebody like thinks about you non-stop and like masturbates to different scenarios to you as if like you're minding your business and you think of different like very like different weird sexual things coming your third eye that or you just get extra horny and you start to like want to you crave different scenarios that you're not usually into that makes sense like i think this is like somebody sending you know what they're into into your third eye or into your sacred chakras when you start to want different things done to you that you're not normally sexually turned on to is usually the person's what they want to do to you and what they are manifesting to do to you next um definitely and if you just get intensively horny out of nowhere and you want yeah you want different things done to you i feel like this is when you know somebody is like doing sex magic on you or they're kind of like they've they're, they've masturbated to you and you know what i mean like thinking of this scenario done to you is like going into your third eye into your crown chakra so just be careful um not to let this person like kind of like take over your sacral chakra and make you do things i mean if you want them to this gives me that scorpio vibes though where they want to just I don't know if you're very submissive in that way and you want to submit to them. I saw 11 11. Because I feel like they want you attached to them with a double card. Definitely want some type of attachment. They don't want a union, they want an attachment. They want like something with power and control over you and the connection and the sexual bonds you guys have. It's like more of like power and control with them. So I'll be careful because I feel like it's just. Like something about diminishing energy or something about controlling your energy here. It's like something very obsessive here. So how they feel about you is very like sexually obsessive. And I wasn't trying to go there because I wanted to try to get their like feelings involved. But I feel like as far as feelings, it's not even about a feelings for them. I think it's more of like control for them. Like they could be a control freak. And this is something you could have probably got the red flags or the signs here and there, the devil card. But I feel like you've probably been ignoring them. They definitely have red flag or just something red right there so both of you guys could have i don't know something about something you like about this person though but they definitely have 
they're obsessive when it comes to their relationships and things outside of their relationship like if you're around this person watch this person watch how they like act when things mess up around them or when things this person is definitely yeah watch how they act like just spill something around this person a drink um mess up something around them <laughs> that's very important to them or just do something and i i think they probably might flip out the double card or they might show yeah this person is very like i don't even think it's ocd i think it's like obsessive like they have well that's that's obsessive compulsive disorder but i feel like it's extreme with the devil card like i don't think you know how extreme it, it is for them so just watch their actions be careful around them make sure you don't slip anything into your cup when you guys are hanging out um be careful about where you put your drink around them but if you have to do all of that i would just say stop i don't know just project <laughs> Protect your energy. I don't know if this is like somebody you're dating. For some of you guys are not that serious. Like they won't slip nothing into your drink. I just seen 13 through 33. But um the, if not that, they'll try to get you drunk for this pile, probably with the double card. This type of energy where they try to get you drunk or they wanna get you drunk so they can like it's kinda like wanna they wanna have power. They love power dynamics like they love anything that they can like tame control rule over they probably love watching movies about this so just be like watch everything with this person like they probably watch like watching movies that have like something to do with power money and control and stuff like that i'm not getting an evil energy from them with the devil card but i'm I, I am getting that they might not know nothing about love they just know about sex, power, control, money, stuff like that. Like they're very like superficial, can come off very superficial, but I feel like this is the way they might see love. So I don't know if like sex is like very, very rough sex is love to them. They could think this is how you look, like this is their way of showing you love in a toxic, like I'm getting um, Nate, like where he thinks he loves Cassie by dominating her and by watching her risk everything for him it's like he feels like that's love in his in his eyes i'm getting that type of energy where it's like they see love in like a fucked up way i don't know i don't know i don't know it's like giving me how they feel about you pal too is that they want to have sex like and they're probably doing sex magic on you so that's what I have for you. If it did resonate, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next post. Hello, Power 3. So if you chose Cellulite, Clear to Clutter, this would be your person's current feelings for you at this moment. We got the lovers. For how they feel. King of Wands. And the Hangman. So somebody here could be Pisces, somebody could be a Gemini, or you guys have something like that in your chart. It don't have to be, this could just be, it just could be lies here, somewhere with the hangman, because it's all about deception, or just seeing things in a different perspective. So how they feel, I feel like you're making them feel like all vulnerable inside all like like you're making a lot of things come up that like you're making them feel sex differently relationships differently intimacy differently like you're helping them see the world in a more like fun fun like state or like a more childlike innocent state yeah it could be innocence here um so you're making this person like desire things less if that makes sense like 
maybe with the king of wands they're like very passionate they're like very they like to get very like intimate quickly and i feel like you're more of like i don't know you're kind of like teaching this masculine to little like wait a little wait off a little bit or that is just not about always about sex and it's not always about you know penetration um yeah like having sex is good and it's great and it feels amazing with somebody that you care about but i feel like as far like how you make them feel and how they feel towards you is more of like an innocence like maybe you just you just come off hella innocent if you're not a pisces you just come off like very very innocent and if you're not a gemini you just come off even if you are those signs like you just come off or you could be a fire sign you just come off very like innocent and you make them see things in a totally different light and they kind of like this but at the same time it's like this could be connected to power i'm not sure if you were drawn to more than one power but i'm just kidding like how they feel towards you is just very like in love <laughs> they could feel in love with the cupid behind his back like they could feel like they're but i feel like for like i'm getting energy of like they're resisting it though as well because he didn't the cupid bow didn't strike him yet but it's about to strike him so i feel like they are resisting it in some type of way whether it's because they're trying to understand it or understand you or it's just why are they resisting i'm getting resistance here though It's just something very unusual to them that's taking place um, between you guys or with you guys in general. Like this, you guys with the lovers could have multiple options. Yeah, because there are three people there, right? So you guys both could have other options, but it's completely innocent. Or or you're making it come off as, a, as if it's completely innocent. And it's like they kind of have to believe you or they do believe you because you're so innocent it's just something here where you guys could have other options but it's so innocent to the point where they feel like you're not cheating on them you're, they're not cheating on you it's just something where you guys are just being like playful and vulnerable but like you guys are just very very into each other like you guys really like each other but i feel like they're kind of like falling for you but they're resisting falling so they definitely could you could be drawn to power one for sure it was like a slim similarity there um as far as them kind of like protecting the heart but i feel like for them it's like they're just resisting it all the way i think like the they're resisting i don't know it's like this person def definitely wants to probably get sexual with you as well because they do feel very passionate about you or they could feel like i don't know it's like because the king of wands that's like a single masculine so they could come off as though they want to be single and they don't need you or want you yeah they could come off as 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 if like they show you a lot of the time that they don't need you and that they don't need a relationship like they come off as like as though as that they they're not they're not pressed for a relationship they don't you know need a relationship they're not gonna die if they don't have you or don't have a relationship but i feel like deep down inside they do feel something strongly for you with the King of Wands, but they do come off as if they're not gonna chase. I feel like, yeah, it's like they're not gonna chase you. Yeah, for this, the energy, they're definitely not gonna chase you. I don't care how bad they wanna chase you, they're not gonna chase you because they know that you could be younger for this pop. Definitely getting like a younger energy from you where you, they feel like they need to chase you in order to grab your attention. They could feel like they're have competition but they're not going to chase you because like what if you choose somebody else but it's like they definitely want to pin you down though with the hangman card as as if her arms are in his rope and he has the hand in her hair so he's definitely kind of getting or giving her hints that he's into her but i don't think that he's like completely pinning you down like, I feel like he, I feel like this type of energy, the person you're thinking about, is like, they want you to want to be pinned down before they, I guess, like, something where they just, they could probably feel like that you're resisting, so, 
for them to try to pin you down when you don't want to be pinned down would be kind of like it would be tiring maybe they've been chasing you for a while actually like they have been chasing you but it's like <laughs> they're probably getting tired of it pile three <laughs> Like, clear the clutter, you could just have, like, a very imaginative, like, you have a very, like, you have a mind that can, I don't know, it's like your mind could be very cluttery, you could be very disorganized, there's something about you that's very young here, so I'm getting that you could be younger, or just something about you that's very different, that's, like, catching their eye, you look very appealing to them, and they're very, very, like, they could come off as if there's as if they're frustrated around you a little bit or annoyed but i feel like they're just annoyed with how little attention you do give them and how little affection you do give them like you might not notice that you give them like the king of wands energy i always feel like they want the absolute most done for them like they want to be catered to they want to be complimented all the time they want to be admired they want to be like they want you to stare at them all day like they want they love compliments on their physical appearance but i feel like for you it's kind of like you probably don't do or say too much and this could kind of like mess with their head a little because they don't know if you're like into them as much as they're into you i am kind of getting that vibe but yeah it's kind of like they would be devastated if you don't really feel the same way or you <laughs> i don't know it's like this person is coming off as if they are confident but it's like when it comes to you, they don't feel that confident. And I don't know why I'm getting that energy. <laughs> it's just something about they are confident. They are like, they probably do get a lot of attention from other options because you can see like there's a woman behind him, like staring at him. Like he does get attention. He does get, you know, people he can have sex with and all of that. Um, but it's just like something about you. Maybe because you do give him less attention though. Maybe it's because you do play him off. Maybe it is because you don't answer their calls. You don't see them when they want to see you. Yeah, maybe it's that like they desire you because they can't really. It's just something you ever heard of. And it's just that energy where if you can't have it as easy or you can't pin something down, the more you, the more and more you want it. So it's giving me that energy between you and him. Like, yeah, because King of Wands is like taking action. They like to take action. So. Maybe this person is kind of like wanting to see what you'll do next. <laughs> it's that energy. You, got, you guys could both be fire signs or have fire in your both. Like somebody, I think that both of you guys could have fire in your chart. But it's just like this person is trying to see what you're up to next or what you're finna do next. Because with you, you could just be very spontaneous where one day you, it's like, do you like me? Does she like me? Does she like me not? Like... It's like they, you could come off as like as though you love them, you like them one minute, and you're in, you're intrigued, and you're in a, you're, it's like you, yeah, it's like infatuation here, definitely. If you look up the definition of infatu, infatuated or infatu, like being infatuated, is like something where it's like the King of Wands energy, where it's like hot and steamy. You're just like admiring this person, and then it just blows over. It gets really cold. Like you could be, you could be coming off as the King of Wands. I mean, the Knight of Wands, and you don't even know it. But this is something that they really, really like about you. But then again, they really, really hate it because it's like, does she like me or does she? Is she just entertaining me for right now? Because she's bored, or am I like this person also scared of like boring you? um they could because they're older they could feel like they're a little bit boring they don't have to be older but i feel like they still think that you like the way they see you as someone that needs something different to stimulate your mind your body your spirit and you could yeah it's like children like they need something like they have a short attention span and like the littlest things can catch their attention um, so I feel like they feel like you're, I'm not saying you're a child, but it's like you move on to the next thing pretty quickly and they see that in you, like different patterns in you where you move on to the next quickest thing, the next funnest thing, the next, the next newest thing, the next, any little thing. Maybe you even went out with this person and flirted in front of them and you don't, like, I feel like it really hurts this king of wands in it. Like, I just heard energy. So it could hurt their energy, but I really, yeah, it could hurt their feelings a lot. And this is something that 
they're not going to show you because they are the king of wands where most of the time they are they're pretty confident and they can get anybody that they want anybody that they pick and choose they can get them so i think it's just it hurts their feelings i think that the person that they want which is you you kind of are like what's new what's next what's here what's there Ooh, what's that what's this what's that who's that <laughs> like you're just so like a butterfly or like you're just like a dragonfly something that's like quick and beautiful and stunning and catches your you know your attention but then next if you look away and you look back it could be gone that type of energy is how they feel so you could have definitely been drawn to power one but i think this is more of like it could be like a younger energy i'm not sure i'm just getting up there more aware that you're not gonna stay i think the power one it was like they they weren't so aware they were still getting to know you know power one's energy but i think for this energy they feel like and they know that you're not gonna stay because he's dead ass pin her down in a third card <laughs> like she has rope around her arms because it's hard to get you to just stay still for one damn minute i think you even jump from subject to subject um but they they love it because you could be artistic i'm not sure um you could just there's something different about you that they really really can't you're amazing to them and they definitely are very 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 sexually attracted to you with the king of wands definitely um they definitely masturbate to you and this is something that they won't share with you because they want to be confident around you um you're definitely amused to them i'm getting the queen of wands energy so maybe they met their match i'm not really sure yeah this pile they could have met their match so you guys could be twin flames i'm not sure or you guys are like you feel like this is your twin don't have to be twin flame because i feel like twin flame is like really serious connection i feel like this is more of like your evil twin like just jokingly like that's my evil twin like you guys do and say some of the same things do some of the same things you guys are both quirky yes yeah, so i feel like this person with the lovers is like more of just they're trying to go with the flow the best that they can but i think they get frustrated from time to time because they don't know they they know you won't stay for this pile <laughs> like you come and go like the winds you know so that's what i have for you pal three about how they feel about you and the connection if it did resonate please like comment subscribe and i'll see you on my next post